What's going on guys? Welcome to today's vlog. It is Friday the 6th of August and I'm starting today's vlog in Vanellope's room. There's a really good reason for that which I'm going to get to in a minute. But over the last 24 hours it's been absolutely horrendous outside and inside of this house. So I'm just going to explain a few things first. So the first thing is the dog. So those of you that know we've got Eva. Eva is a pug. She's um, the fattest smelliest noisiest little thing that i have ever come across in my life and that's saying something um but she is she farts constantly he snores like a human being it grunts snarls um sneezes does everything really all over the house but we gave her some food now it was different food that we gave her that we normally don't we normally give a royal canin but we got this pedigree dry mix and she was kind of like really wide-eyed and like she couldn't keep a stand she couldn't stand up and stuff like that and obviously i got my phone and me light on my phone i opened her mouth and checked to see if she, there was anything obstructing her, her airwaves and airways and there wasn't um so I kind of stroked her and cuddled her and everybody else did and it, it kind of went away and I googled it and they can be allergic to certain foods and they can also go into like, a, they can have a panic attack um, if it's not going down properly. So yeah, she really, really scared us over the last 24 hours. So we've been on like pug watch since then. The cat's fine. As you can see down there, the cat's perfectly fine. They're like uh, chalk and cheese, the cat and dog. They work in tandem to get things around the house but the other thing is for those of you again that watch the channel you are going to know that we have massive issues when water is dropped around the house as in when it rains now the way that this house is situated outside there you can see the steps now all the houses along here apart from the end one that doesn't have any balcony that comes out they have a balcony that comes out and then it goes into the back garden <clears throat> Well, ours has got steps going down into the basement level, which none of the other houses have apart from the one next door. So ours and next door are prone to flooding. Now next door have sorted theirs out because the guy, the, the builder that came and did ours, he put it a channel down the side of their house to help the rainwater go away. He didn't have to do it, but he did it because while he was here he thought you know what i'll just help them out as well and it just gets rid of some of the water as it's going down we have a pump system because there's a manhole right down here so we have a we have a um a, a pump system so basically it has a it's a dirty water pump so the pump's got a float when the float comes up this high the pump kicks in and it pumps the water up into this pipe all the way down into the canal now yesterday it was absolutely belting it down so much so that the pipe and the pump couldn't cope with the amount of water that was coming in now we have had this looked at by united utilities and united utilities said to us i don't really know how to tell you this mate but that's an inlet it doesn't have any outlet so basically all the overflow from the street from the main road out here goes into there gets dumped in there comes right down into the bottom here and we've got no way of getting rid of it unless we've got the pump now on some rare occasions, and it's happened twice in the six years that we've lived here, bits of dirt, bits of gravel, stuff off the street could come down and it could get lodged in the pipe at the bottom because it has like a turbine at the bottom that sucks the water up. So sometimes it can get, dis it can get lodged and it is difficult, near impossible, when we've got a storm to fix it, to rectify it. So it's basically a bucket up, out onto the back. We have tried rectifying it, but I took some footage yesterday because we've been now been in touch with the council because we want to know where all this rapid influx of water is going from. So, um, to my lip then, people will talk. But um, I'm going to show you the footage now that I took yesterday. This is how bad that it was. So as you can see, it's pretty brutal. 
it's it's very brutal in fact it's just one of them things where <laughs> you can see yourself it is like a river coming down the street and all that water there that you're seeing goes right down and into the garden right across the garden right down these steps here in there and then you've also got the inlet pipe that comes in so literally yesterday i was going to film it but i forgot i was that like worried about it as soon as the water level dropped and the pump stopped because the floats dropped it would fill up within like 10 seconds back to the top again and it was just like that all the time now one of the good things about that is we have the pump excuse me we have the pump on all the time so it's on constantly so that when it comes up it does its thing but you can't put the lid on the manhole because the float can't right itself it hits the top so it's you know it, it, you're damned if you do and damned if you don't it's a double-edged sword really so apparently they're going to be building a brick wall around it to heighten it so that it could do that then we could put the cover on the top for me that's the best option because it means that if the balls go down there because the kids have footballs as you can see down here we have loads of footballs and the footballs go in there if they get caught within the um the float system it's not going to drop at all. It's not going to drop at all. So, yeah. So, we've been on panic mode for the last 24 hours. But, hopefully now, the storm has passed. We've got, apparently, a heat wave coming on Tuesday right the way through. Um, Frank's back ne next week to do the other gates. <clears throat> He's going to be doing the bar outside as well. I know we spoke about this and said it'd be done in like two or three weeks, but it's just not possible because he's doing other, bit, other bits and pieces for us around the house. And that's like a major thing out there where we want it to kind of be indoors. But again, yesterday was a bit of a learning curve for us as well because it did come into the garden and we're going to have to rectify that where we're going to have to heighten the bar a tiny bit more because you don't want the floor rotting inside there because if the floor rots, then... It's just not going to be good. And then we're going to get a fridge in the back there, back of there and everything else. But I'm sure that's going to come. And I'm sure you're going to see that soon. It's just if and when we start to do the um, to do the, to do the bar. But it is still definitely on the cards. So, you know, it's, that's one of them things. But um, I'm going to head now over to the studio. I'm going to um, get Oscar, Oscar wanted me to do him this. Um, it's a controller um, holder. It goes underneath your desk. And then you slide your analog sticks into it. And then it holds your um, your dual dual shock in there. So when we get over there, I'll show it to you if it's finished. If not, if it ran out of PLA because I was running the risk with it, might have only finished a tiny bit. But we'll see when we get over there. All right, guys, I'm over in out the studio as promised, and Oscar's PlayStation thing as printed as you can see here. It's got the PlayStation logo on the front of it. It goes underneath your desk, and those two little bits are there. Oh, let me get it those two little bits at the front here they come out which i'll show you actually in a minute they come out and once they're out you're able to then put your controller underneath your desk while you're playing on the games so you've got well when you finish playing with, playing the games all right quick jump cut and this is it as you can see there that's where you put your controller parts your analog sticks and then it just rests on it pretty cool really easy looks really nice came out amazingly well in fact it came out brilliantly you could just sell that as it is uh, might do these, might take a picture of one of them and put them on to eBay and um, and see what we get for them. They're worth a fiver all day long and you can just send them out. First class post. So, yeah, as I said before, um, bit of a nightmare for the last 24 hours. But, you know, these things are said to try us. At least is one thing. We can live in hope that Manchester City get absolutely thumped by Leicester on Saturday in the Community Shield. And, um, well, yeah. Be a great start to Jack Grealish's um, Manchester City career, won't it? Winning silverware, hopefully not. But anyway, that's a, for another time and another day. Do not forget to smash the like button, subscribe if you aren't already. Make sure you click the notification button. There's nothing. Make sure you leave us a comment if you can, and we will definitely see you guys tomorrow because we do this every single day.